all right answering more of your questions guys these are still on instagram we had a lot if you receive mastering two tracks what is your minimum dynamic range you need to master a track okay so if we're talking about dynamic range that's kind of um, hard to answer because not all songs not all genres require or benefit from high dynamic range and the question kind of assumed that assume that all songs and all genres um, sound better when they are very dynamic or at least in you know a certain minimum which they don't because some genres they really don't have that much dynamic and that's the genre that's how they they are supposed to sound of course generally speaking and you know taking taking out of the picture exceptions and strange genres let's say for the mainstream genres from pop to metal and everything in between you want to have some dynamic range you want to have some dynamic range and it's not a bad idea especially if you're not a super skilled engineer to be a little more dynamic than than not simply because it doesn't matter how we flip it at the end of the day a big part of mastering is gonna be even if it's just a byproduct reducing dynamic range now the the trick is doing it trying not to reduce the perceived dynamic range and actually in many cases if you know what you're doing you can even enhance the perceived dynamic range so we are talking about either macro changes or micro changes so the snap of the snare and the kick many times you can make a track louder and more punchy i mean a good master engineer if anything uh should be able to do that it's not always possible but you know most cases that's that's at least what sh the goal should be if i receive a track that has two one db of dynamic range that's gonna be a problem that's gonna be a problem not really because of the nominal level of the number but because the mix is gonna sound already pretty flat and i kind of have my hands tied them behind my back when i go to mastering because at that point every cent of a db that i either compress or limit or saturate is gonna reduce that and so that the problem with a non-dynamic mix that is sent me to master is that it's gonna be already probably limited and or saturated or clipped and that's unless again you are a very skilled engineer and you know what you're doing probably translate in a mix that is not punchy is not engaging is not alive and that's more the problem because if i get a mix from an amazing mix engineer and it, it sounds punchy and it's, it's perfect but it has little dynamic range at that point we are all good because there's not much i can there's not much that i have to do in mastering to you know make it better or bring it to a commercial level actually it's going to be fairly easy i don't have to do that much but if the mix doesn't sound great and it's smashed that's a problem so i want to say taking into account uh, all kinds of engineers out there and not the super great and the super shitty i say it's probably good to have at least a 5 db dynamic range i always am hesitant to give in numbers you know because you know I, I feel like a little bit of responsibility having decent sized audience and i don't want people to get fixated on the number i don't like also to, to say use your ears but you kind of have to so um more like if you feel like your mix is not punchy and it's not alive and it's not I don't know engaging yes a mastering engineer can make those changes and it's also possible very possible to enhance the dynamic range in mastering i would not rely on that completely maybe if the mix engineer or the producer has a relationship with the master engineer like it happened with me you can send the mix beforehand and you know maybe i can give you like some pointers on how to adjust the mix so 
we get the best result because at, at the end of the day it's a it's a teamwork that's how great songs are everywhere around i mean besides exceptions is always a team of people working together i hope this answered the question thank you for asking if you guys have questions leave it in the comment down below consider using the super thanks and support the channel click the join button become a member to access the exclusive content there's a lot of new mastering and mixing courses coming your way thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already see you next time Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat Lift me up, up, man, take control, up Heart is so gone, my type Don't you know I fall for the bad type You play the role of an angel pretty well